moon. <laughs> it's me, Trish the Purple Yardivore. I am here. I am back. I just got done making my where the hell have you been video. <laughs> um, and in that video, I said that I was going to show some finished objects and even some whips. So I thought I'd just go ahead and get that done as well. Um, probably be posting this video shortly after that one. You know, there's a lot of catching up to do. And so, um, yeah. So, welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so happy to have you here. I hope you like my content. Um, yeah. So, let's get started on showing my finished objects. So, I have been trying to reduce my yarn stash aside from donating a lot of yarn to my sister. You'll see her arm here in the video. Um, and getting rid of a bunch of them for mystery boxes. Um, I also have been trying to reduce my stash and I think the fastest way to reduce my yarn stash is blankets. Um, and I have a shawl also to show you. Um, it's one that is done a lot by Rose Likes Crochet. In fact, I when I was on Ravelry, Ravelry looking up patterns, I came across this pattern and was and was like, oh yeah, Rose Likes Crochet does that. Um, it's a beautiful pattern, really super easy to work up, nice texture. Anyway, before we show you the shawl, I'm gonna show you some things that I completed um, so I do have a couple blankets to show, excuse me, while I itch my ribs. Um, the first one I did using Hair and Big Cakes. Uh, I believe this colorway is discontinued, but, how do I, there it is. <laughs> I used the Hair and Big Cakes in the color... Tiramisu. Um, this I got out of a book, which is currently buried at the moment. Now, in the in the pattern, it calls for making tassels, putting tassels on. But <sighs> when I'm making something for myself, I'm not really keen on doing fringe or tassels. It's just tedious and time consuming and nothing I really want to mess with <laughs> and I'm just like content with the way that the blanket looks um by itself oh I thought I sewed in all my ends I see that I miss some <laughs> anyway um so uh like I said I made this using a Karen Big Cakes in the color tiramisu um, I had a few balls of this. Now, this only took like two and a half, three balls. And I don't think I'm going to get the whole uh, afghan in the pattern. But you can see how the pattern worked up and the colorway. And it's quite long. And it was so fun and easy to work up. It worked up quickly. And that's what that looks like. I completed this. I really love this pattern. I did another one in a solid, like, kind of a light rose pink color. Yeah, so that is that one. And I like the, the shell stitching. Actually, that's probably upside down. So really, it looks like this. So you can kind of see how the pattern looks. I love this pattern so much. I'll, I'll link the book. I Last time I saw it on Amazon, so I'll try and find that and link it in the description box. The book that had this pattern. Okay. And then... Um, I have the Mary Maxim monthly subscription club thing, and I did show this in a previous video. They have 
this spring evening wrap. And it came with a Noro yarn. The Noro Nishiki. Yes, I remember because in the video I kept saying Nishiki, Nishiki. Cause I don't know. There's something I like about saying it. It is a cotton yarn. It's a bit of a fragile yarn, to be honest, and it goes from thick to thin and, and all of that. And, you know, I have to really be honest with you, even though it's a fancy, expensive yarn, I hate it. <laughs> I, I mean, I really hate it. I, I did not enjoy working with that Noro Nishiki, not even just a little bit. I, I just really, I, I mean, I really hated it, okay? Um, I actually have so much of it left because the shawl turned into a cow. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't bear to work with it anymore. And I, and it's not, I'm sure Noro has a lot of really great yarns and they're too expensive for me to buy. And if I'm going to spend that much, there's other yarns I'd rather buy. Um, but I still have this much left of the Noro Nishiki. And then it also came with the Mary Max and Best Value, which is actually quite pleasant to work with. I didn't have any issues working with this yarn. This is really nice. Um, they do sell it on the Mary Maxim website, so you can always go buy it if you want. But it came with these two. And um, that's just going in my scrap bin. But this wrap just it, it just turned into a cowl because I really did not enjoy working with it so yeah now now it's a cowl it's a cowl I just said I can't do this anymore <laughs> and I just sewed it up I just sewed it up and now it's a cowl <laughs> so I did complete this so let me show you the picture of the pattern one more time or the finished um, on it. So I did finish this, but not finish it, if that makes sense. Spring evening wrap. And, and it's a nice pattern. You know, it's simple. It's easy and fast to work up. But again, did not like the Noro Nishiki. Although I like this cowl a lot. So. And then... I'm not done. I have more finished objects. I did another blanket. This one is Feather and Fan. And I did this oh, oh, in the Skinny Cakes. I don't have the label. I thought I put the label in with this, but apparently I did not. But it's one of the new Skinny Cakes, so you're probably familiar with the colorway anyway. And this is my first time doing the feather and fan. I'd never done, and I did not sew in my ends because, you know, I'm so lazy about that. Um, unless I'm going to give something as a gift or something. I did, I did not put a border on it because I'm not sure. I mean, the blanket is so beautiful by itself that I didn't want to, like, ruin it with a border. But if you have a border suggestion for the feather and fan, let me know because... The edges curl as though it was knit. Um, and, and by the way, I do want to try the knit version of the feather and fan because I really like the look of it. Anyway, so this is the Skinny Cakes. And this is my feather and fan afghan lot blanket, whatever you want to call it. And it would be wider if I like blocked it and, you know, uncurled the edges. But as you can see... You know, it's pretty good wide size. I used the fiber spider tutorial for the feather and fan. Really love how this turned out. I really, oh, there's a hair tickling my nose. I really enjoyed making this a lot and I enjoyed using the skinny cakes for it. So it's like this long. It's very nice. And it's soft, you know, it's not real rough. It's pleasant. So I did this blanket also. And now for my last finished object, 
Going back to Rose Likes Crochet, I'm sure everyone knows who she is by now. There is a shawl that she does. I think there's several of them in her Etsy shop. It is called the Dragon Belly Shawl. And I've done it. I doggone went and done it. And this is how it turned out. I have not blocked it or anything yet. I did not put the edge on it that the pattern called for the border because I just loved it the way it was. And look, this is, you know, this is how it looks. I am in love with this colorway. I, I got this yarn at Joann's. I am so in love with this. I want to get like so many more balls of this color, but like my Joann's is out of it. Out, out. They had a big sale on their mandala cakes for like $3.99, okay? And I got all the ones they had and no more. And I'm so disappointed, so... I want to get my hands on some more of this colorway. So let me tell you, I used Mandela. And this is the colorway. It is the colorway Griffin. And OMG, I love the pinks and the rusty red brown. This peacock color right here. And then the blue, and then the light blue, and then this like kind of gray and tan and like this rusty brown color right here. It all looks so good together. Like it would never occur to me to put these colors together in one cake, but it is gorgeous. I love this. I love this colorway. I saw it in this store and I went, oh my God, I cannot walk away from that can not do it okay ramen noodles for a week kind of cannot do it no we didn't eat ramen noodles that's junk food so um yeah so i want to get my hands on more of this but like i said my joann's does not have any more and i'm very sad very sad i think i deserve a moment of silence anyway so, I want to get my hands on some more of this. Griffin is the colorway. Oh, I just love this colorway so much. It makes my eyes want to pop out of my skull. It just, it's gorgeous. I love it. I love it. Dragon belly. And go on Ravelry and get this pattern. It is so cool. It's very cool. I love it. I love it. Love it. I'm going to be making some more of these. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I also got some projects that I'm working on. Excuse me for a moment. <sighs> My air conditioning ain't working so good today. So I'm just going to pretend like I put that on. Okay. So I do have a little knit project. Oh, my sock project. I didn't grab that. Okay. I have two projects that I'm working on. I got double pointed needles with a sock on it that uh, I'm kind of working on. And then I got this one. Of course, it's a Ross hat. And I am using Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek in the color Berry Mix. I am loving this. Of course, I think Hobby, most of Hobby Lobby's yarns are really soft. Not at all like Red Heart Super Saver, the crunchy yarn. But this is how it's working up. And I thought the way the color changed so much that it would just kind of be a splotchy variegated, but it's actually like this. 
Look at that. And there's just something so soft and thick about it. I am so keeping this hat. Like no one else is getting it. You hear me, Halo? Mm -hmm. Halo steals my projects. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how that color is working up isn't it pretty i've kind of reached the point where it's time to like start um start um reducing my stitches but yeah this is how that is looking yarn be soft and sleek low pill fiber i got this long time ago but I pulled it out because I it kind of like disappeared in my yarn stash and I saw it and I'm like, I am dying to know. I am so dying to know how that would look knitted up. So I threw it on some circular needles and you just saw how that is working up. So when I'm done with this, it'll go into an FO video. Also, because my sister is learning to crochet and she's doing her first crochet blanket. I figure an easy stitch for her to do would be the V stitch. So she was having just a tad bit of trouble and I said, you know what? Why don't we do a project together? Me and you will do the same project and we'll work on it together. Um, so yeah, we're doing a V stitch blanket and I, this also is a whip. And I will show it in an FO video at some point. But yeah, I am using on this the Woolies DK Cake in the color Meadow. I have like five of these. It's a three weight yarn. And this is how the color is playing up for that. Now, I don't know if this is discontinued or not. But I did get these on like a really huge sale. So this is a V-stitch blanket that we are working on together. She's got hers. I got mine. And this is how the colorway plays up. Very nice. Very pretty. Very like lacy. Oh, she's showing off hers like a rainbow. And she actually is using um, Baby Bee. Um, Sweet Delight prints in the color, in the color, <laughs> oh, Parasol Party, and I got this last year at the Hobby Lobby clearance, so you can see it's very bright rainbow color, and this is how hers is looking. I really love that. That is so beautiful. So yeah, that's that's her blanket. So that's another whip. Um, what else? What else? I've got <laughs> all these whips. I got a summer sweater I'm working on for my daughter. It's using this shell stitch, so I'm doing it in panels. Um, this is how that's turning out. And I really feel like it'll be a top that she doesn't have to wear like a camisole or anything underneath. So there's that. It's just the shell stitch. And it's turning out beautifully. And that actually is going to be one of my tutorials if I can ever get that desk cleaned off. And then I got this one also that I'm working on. It is... A V stitch pattern. This I am using. Um, the bottom is V stitch and the top is half double crochet. So yeah, it's very lacy. It's a very lacy yarn. It is an ice yarn that I'm using called Natural Garden, and it is 40% bamboo, 35% cotton, and 25% linen. What a fun and interesting combination. Bamboo, cotton, and linen. I think it covers all of them, you know, summer type natural fibers. So yeah, um, that, I don't know if it'll be a tutorial or not, but 
that's going to be a top for me. So we got the mandala blankets. We got the knitted hat. We got two panels for summer crochet tops. Last thing I am working on is a blanket. Again, trying to use up some of my stash. I am using Karen Baby Cakes in the color Primary. So you can see kind of this is the color Baby Cakes. And I am doing the Ripple Granny. So I just kind of started on this. And this is what that looks like. That's how that's working up. So, yeah. And it's soft. It's really nice and soft. This is going to be a blanket for my daughter. This is one she is allowed to steal. But I got five cakes of it. So, it should make a pretty good sized blanket. Um, each baby cake is 560 yards. So, yeah. I got, no, I got six of them. So this will make a good size blanket. You can see the blue and the yellow and pink and white and gray in there. Very nice. So aside from visiting with my sister and, um, Destroying my yarn stash. Um, pretty much my living room looks like a yarn tornado came and hit it. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, this, these are all my works in progress. These are all my finished objects. And I'm really having a good time with all of it. Using up my stash. Um writing some patterns. Oh, and my For the Love of Shells pattern. I just wrote the bonus part, which is like the bolero sweater thing. So I wrote the For the Love of Shells pattern. Um, I'm going to be giving it to a, tester, a couple testers um, to try it out. And then I'm going to upload it in my Etsy shop. It's a really beautiful lacy shell pattern. Um, super easy, just a two row, two row repeat, fast to work up, and then a little bonus, um, pattern for the bolero slash shrug, whatever you want to call it. Um, that will be in my Etsy shop soon, God willing. Um, anyway, that's all I have for you today. Keep crocheting, have fun. Do random acts of kindness, spread peace and love, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!